Former astronaut Mark Kelly swearing in for his first full term as Arizona senator. By his side, his wife, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Public service has always been a big part of uh, not only for Gabby and me, for both of us, but also for our family. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. The couple now reflecting on the life-altering moment which happened 12 years ago at a meet-and-greet event outside Tucson. A gunman killing six and injuring 13, including Gabby, who was shot in the head. We cannot forget how both of your lives changed. January 2011, Senator Kelly. You have been there by her side all of this time. What don't we know about the strength and resilience of your wife? She's always been about like just never giving up. Inch by inch. And just, she, she often tells me, remain focused. And she was in a coma for uh, probably about a week or so. But Gabby's recovery has been quite remarkable. Yeah. What have you learned from the experiences these past 12 years? To be grateful for friends and family and to live every day to the fullest. Aphasia has impaired her ability to speak, but still Gabby makes incredible progress in her recovery. Her outrage transforming into action after the devastating events of Sandy Hook, which killed 26 people, including 20 young children. The day that happened, we were not in the same place. No. And I got on the phone with Gabby. Enough is enough. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. You know, enough is enough. And we made a decision to start an organization. Gabby's organization that she built has had tremendous, tremendous impact. And Gabby, what is your hope this year for Giffords? Save lives, save lives, save lives, save lives. And that is your, that is your battle cry. Yeah, yes. Gabby's now celebrating a decade of her organization, Giffords, bringing together survivors and advocates, including Jeanette and Pam, two moms who both tragically lost their sons to gun violence. Tell us about Patrick. What were his dreams? Patrick was an artist, and he was a student at the Ringling College of Art and Design when he was killed. He was very talented and driven and just an amazing person. And Pam, tell people what they need to know, especially today, this special day about your son. This is my oldest son, Terrell Bosley, and today is his 35th birthday. He was everything, and so instead of me celebrating his 35th birthday at the cemetery, I'm here with you all, and I appreciate that, but um, it's, it's difficult today. Turning their pain into purpose, Giffords dares to dream what a future looks like without gun violence. Looking ahead, are you optimistic? Are you optimistic about the work that Giffords can continue to do to make a difference? I'm optimistic. It will be a long, hard haul, but I'm optimistic. If somebody's watching and wondering what they can do in their own communities to help, what is your advice? Be a leader, set an example, be passionate, be courageous, be your best. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.